Hey everybody, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description of this video for some of the best online retailers. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, this was sent by Seth. Not sure what's in there, but we'll find out together. Thank you so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for my Patreon right down in the description. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, what do we have? Let's put best point of attacks over here. It's time to sharpen the scalpel again. I know, it's it's time. It's gone through a bunch, you know? It's done all right. Still making it work. Um, okay, so we have what looks like a spider coat. Well, the reason I say that is obviously a spider coat box, but it's not always what's in there. Um, okay, let's find out what's in the pouch first. Ooh. Oh, ooh, 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 yes, very cool. I wanted to look at these for quite a while. This is the Something Obscene uh, J Cape V3. So here's what we've got M390 and titanium blue slash purple anno flipper 6L4V. So yeah, I remember seeing these for the first time a while back um, and thinking, wow, I really like that blade shape. Uh, but yeah, these were uh, really popular. In fact, I'm sure they still are. I'm not sure exactly where you can get these right now. Obviously, this is the first time I've handled it. My experience with this so far has just been a picture on Instagram and me going, wow, that's really cool. Um, so I don't know anything about it yet, but uh, any information that I have or you know, on availability or where you can get it, of course, I'll link it right down below if I can. Um, but right off the bat, action, very good, very smooth. Um, the detent feels great. I love the grinds. We've got hollow up front, or I'm sorry, hollow, the initial grind and then flat down there at the tip. Um, definitely a big fan of the blade shape. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the two-tone, but I'm sure there are lots of different uh, variations this comes in. This it, it has this lightning bolt clip, which is interesting. Um, I think that's one of the main uh, thing or the main identifying factors um, with this guy. But yeah, this is cool. This will be an exciting one to cover. Absolutely. So um, I hope you guys are definitely interested in that. You'll get a full review, of course, a few weeks down the road. This is just an unboxing first impressions. And then the other one here, what do we have? Oh, ho, 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 ho. here it is. <laughs> Here's the uh, the the stinker. <laughs> the knife that got everybody up in arms just just here recently. The new uh, Sleesh Bowie um, with uh, the blue anno and the satin finished M390 blade. So this was a dealer exclusive. Um, that uh, the first run, of course, was limited. Uh, it sounds like they're going to be doing more, right? Um, impress I have handled the original, though. And if you guys remember, my opinions on the original initially were, why do people like this so much? Specifically, I remember you know, hearing Nick Shabazz talk about this all the time. I love the Sleesh Bowie. It's so great. And I was like, it just looks like this plain old boring knife, and it's really expensive. I don't understand it. And then I finally get to handle one, and I'm like, wow, it's really good. I really like this, right? But I liked the original tumbling. I liked the original crowning, the original finish, right? XHP steel's great, so is M390. This new version, they don't have the crown spine. Well, wait a minute. I mean, they do, it does down here. This is still crowned. Maybe I was just wrong about that. I mean, it's, it's a little sharper right here. I don't know, I now not handling, not having the original here, I can't compare. Um, definitely would have preferred the tumbled blade over the satin finish, but I'm sure it would have been harder to do that on M390. And the blue is blue. You know, I would have preferred the original tumbling, the monochromatic look, right? But in terms of quality, this feels exactly the same as the original. It doesn't feel any different, right? I'm going to be doing a video over this. We'll talk about it. Um, I talked about it a little bit in a Knife Guy episode, but that was, you know, without having handled it. I feel, feel like I should you know, in all, in all fairness, I should do a video while I'm handling the thing. Um, so yeah, you guys can definitely, um, expect to see that in the near future. Um, but, uh, I'm really excited that I've got this here to talk about. Definitely. Um, now this guy, obviously you can't get right now. I'll still link Spyderco knives in general right down below. Obviously Spider uh, Spyderco has a ton of amazing models that you can actually get right now. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering, you know, what's the deal here? Why did people get up in arms about it? It's because the original Sleesh Bowie was something like 330 to 350 bucks, which already had some people confused 
right? And then, you know, it, it hung around at dealers for a, quite a while, right? It wasn't like people were just, you know, beating down doors to get it. Then when they were finally gone, for whatever reason, they, um, you know, shot up on the secondary market. The prices went through the roof. You know, you, it wasn't uncommon to see them for six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars on the secondary market. So then, uh, you know, they bring this back as a, uh, a dealer exclusive. And instead of 350 bucks, they go for 400 bucks, which had everybody up in arms. And, you know, they were all bent out of shape about it. I mean, I kind of get it, but at the same time, it just seemed like an overly dramatic response. But that's just my opinion. Of course, you're free to think whatever you want. This isn't mine. These knives were not donated to me. They will be going back, right? So I'm free to give my own opinion. It doesn't really have any effect. What's, it's not, I'm not obligated to say or think anything, right? So yeah, I'll give you guys that for sure uh, here in just a few weeks. But anyways, um, these are two really interesting knives and I'm glad that um, they were sent in for me to take a look at. So thank you very much, Seth. I really appreciate you doing that. Um, guys, I think that's gonna be pretty much it today. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Like I said, my Patreon is listed right down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoyed all my content, go ahead and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.